Hi guys, we have made it to a another balmy, warm December day in South Austin, Texas, where it actually rained last night for the first time in two months. The first time that we actually had measurable precipitation since the middle of October and that may or may not have something to do with today's uh, Bible thumping rant about this new study which I'm unclear what this means so I'm just gonna kind of throw it out there uh, about this new study uh, by a bunch of I guess a bunch of crazy Christians but anyway, this is, this is right out of Reuters news. I was going to make this part of my climate change roundup for Wednesday. But since it's Sunday morning, uh, and this involves uh, Bible thumpers and, and such, I thought I might as well make it my Sunday rant from the pulpit. And, and guys, before I go into <clears throat> this rant about the, the, this latest what I guess is being uh, somewhat uh, shed in a humorous light about about these crazy Christians thinking that uh, that the all of this weather we're seeing, such as being able to run around in t-shirts and barefooted in the middle of December, is was predicted in the Bible uh, is all all of the crazy weather going on on this planet. Uh, is a result of end times prophecy in the Bible. Uh, <clears throat> I want to make this this have my own disclaimer as I've made before, but some people I, I guess don't understand. Uh, I, I want to make it clear that I am not a Christian. Okay. Hammond Little Tail is not a Christian. That being said, I do not uh just uh, i don't make christians and, and including mormons uh, the, you know the butt of my jokes uh, i've said many times that uh, that as far as i can tell uh more than the average person uh christians get it and mormons more than anybody get it what is going on on this planet? Now, they might be a little bit uh, convoluted uh, in their thought processes of, of why, as this article may or may not uh, allude to. Uh, but guys, uh, it, it, as far as I can tell, the, these supposedly deluded, crazy Christians uh, are more awake as a group than, uh, than the vast majority of people out there. Uh, so I don't just laugh off of this biblical prophecy. Uh, even though I'm hardly a, a Bible thumper, uh, I, I think the book of Revelation it needs to be read. It is the one book of the Bible I've read Genesis in, in Revelation. Uh, and I will say about the Bible from that absolute horse shit opening chapter of Genesis, as you work through the book, by the time it gets to the last chapter, they're, they're, making, they're making some sense. And so I'm trying to make some sense uh, out of this latest study. This is out of Reuters News, mainstream media. Nearly four in ten... U.S. residents blame weather on end times. Okay, let's see. So nearly 4 in 10 U.S. residents say the severity of recent natural disasters, such as Superstorm Sandy, is evidence that the world is coming to an end, as predicted by the Bible, while more than six in ten blame it on climate change, according to a poll released on Thursday. Uh, I, 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 I'm already lost. Uh, 
I certainly have no problem with the first part of this sentence that uh, that the severity of recent natural disasters such as Superstorm Sandy most certainly is evidence that the world is coming to an end. It is complete evidence that the world is coming to an end. And I don't give a shit what the Bible had to say about it. That the Bible has nothing to do with it. If they were calling this shit 2,000 years ago, if those doomsday prophets were calling it from 2000, 2,000 years ago, more power to them. Uh, I cheer on my fellow doomsday prophets wherever they get their information from. Uh, then while more than six in ten blame these recent natural disasters such as Superstorm Sandy on climate change, G guys, gu guys, it is both. Okay, this uh, I, I I I don't know exactly how they're drawing their lines here. It, it, it is both. Uh, the, the crazy weather on this planet, including the weather that's allowing me to sit here in this t-shirt and, uh, and, and bare feet, uh, is a result of climate change, and it is definitely a sign of the end times. It, it, is, uh, it, it will very well be, uh, you know, the big oops moment in uh in human evolution that that you know th this is the big screw up guys that we ain't coming out of this is the one we ain't fixing uh so anyway let's find out a little more about this study well here here's the first here's the first uh little asterisk you need to put on the study it was a survey by a group calling itself the public religion Research Institute in partnership with the Religion News Service. So, so, so right off, you have, uh, you, you know, you have a big asterisk. Okay. Uh, they have found political and religious disagreement on what is behind severe weather. Okay, now here's how it breaks down. Uh, and I'm trying to, uh, let, let me see where I, where him on little tail fits in on this breakdown. Okay, 60% of Catholics, that, that sure as hell ain't me, and 65% of white non-evangelical Protestants say they believe disasters like hurricanes and floods and droughts and so on are the result of climate change. But nearly two-thirds, this is 65 percent, of white evangelical Protestants say they think the storms are evidence of the end times as predicted by the Bible. Overall, 36% point to end times and 63% to climate change. I'm, I'm, I'm getting more and more confused. But uh, it looks like, I guess here in the fourth paragraph, I find myself. Okay. Some respondents, including 75% of non white Protestants, non-white Protestants, believe extreme weather is both evidence that we're in the end times and it's the result of climate change. Hallelujah! Hamon Little Tail is joining forces with the 75% of non-white Christian Protestant. So, if, if if you're if you're not white, and you're not Catholic, but you are Christian, uh, seventy-five percent of them have the brains to understand that this is both uh, due 
from climate change and is direct evidence that we're in the end times. Uh, I've, I've said uh, before that, that if I had been raised uh, black in Atlanta, Georgia than white, I might very well be a Bible-thumping Christian. Uh, that the, these black uh, holy rollers uh, rock on. Rock on! Uh, they're they're the most sensible bunch of Christians I've ever met, and and here is evidence that these black holy roller Bible thumpers understand uh, that, that what seems so obvious to me. Uh, hallelujah! So once again, Hambo Little Tail finds himself uh, thumping the Bible with a bunch of black holy rollers. Okay, this is one of these researchers says, no one really knows how the end times would look and how God would bring it about. Guys, if, if, if anybody wants to know how the end times look, I suggest you walk out, of, look out your damn window, okay? Look out your window, and uh, if it's anything like the view out my window here in South Austin, Texas, you are looking at the end times, all right? Because we are in the end times. Oh, boy. Uh, and then they go what I've had other rants about, about uh, how politics... Uh, also color perceptions of the weather. The survey found where more than three quarters of Democrats at 60 percent of independents believe that the weather has become more extreme over the last few years. Less than half of Republicans say that they have even perce perceived any shift in the weather. Uh, said Cox, political leanings are affecting how people experience weather, which is pretty fascinating. Okay, so here we are, uh, you know, about 2012 is, is quickly shaping up to be the single hottest year uh, in the history of this planet, as it also will be the year that more greenhouse gases were dumped in uh, to the atmosphere. And whether you see any connection between those two dots, I guess depends on whether you are a uh, Republican or not. Whether you see any connection between those two dots that these uh, black holy roller Bible thumpers can certainly uh, let's see uh, the survey found that while there is disagreement about the causes of global warming, there is widespread agreement about the need for action. And two-thirds of Americans now say that the U.S. government should do more to address climate change. There you go. Let the, let the U.S. government, let, let them fix it. Let, let, the, <laughs> let, let the U.S. government save the planet. Oh boy, uh, some people who say they believe in the end times do not act on that belief in their everyday lives. There you go, there's the understatement of the century, that even people believe, who believe in uh, the, uh, the end times and climate change are doing absolutely zero in their uh, daily lives to educate themselves and to prepare for it. There's the understatement of the, uh, of the century. Finally, the survey found that 15% of Americans, 15% of Americans believe that the end of the world as predicted in the book of Revelation will now occur in their own lifetimes. This, this is 15% of this country. Uh, 
you know, if you can believe this survey any more than other, you know, let's call it 300 million. Or that. You know, this is about, they're claiming that about 50 million people in this country believe that uh, the end of the world will occur during their lifetime. Uh, guys, uh, I am, uh, this is one thing that I am on the fence about. I'm 53 years old. Uh, I'm still barely clinging to some naive belief that I personally, simply because I'm 53, might be able to escape by the skin of my teeth before the big kahuna comes down and Papa Bear brings out his final broom. But I would say I am about 90% convinced that anybody under the age of 30, sure as hell under the age of 10, will see the literal end of the world, meaning the extinction of the human species within their lifetimes. Every day, the, uh, the evidence for this uh, points more and more to this inescapable con conclusion, despite what the hell the Book of Revelation has to say about it or not. Uh, you know, I look at the Book of Climate Science so yeah, put me in there, I guess, with that 15% of Americans that the, believe that the end of the world will occur in their lifetime. And finally, some 2% of Americans, 2%, uh, what, what is this, 6 million? That apparently, according to this poll, there are 6 million Americans believe that the end of the world as predicted by the ancient Mayans, will occur, I guess, in five days. It says will occur by the end of this year, but what they're meaning by this, that by the end of this week, six million Americans believe that we are going to see the end of the world in the next five days. Perhaps naively, I am not one of those six million Americans. I'm in that 13% between those 2% and the 85% who don't believe that the uh, world will end in their, in their lifetime. So, uh, guys, I just thought this was an interesting uh, Sunday morning story about uh, what all these... What, what does it sound like in these churches uh, today? I mean, this is the last Sunday before December 21st. I, I imagine there's some pretty interesting uh, Bible thumping uh, going on uh, in the churches uh, all around this country and on this planet. While I'm sitting here, here's my Bible, is my little made in China laptop computer that plugs me into climate science data. This is what I'm thumping. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to wrap this rant and come at you with some totally rambling rant that I have no idea where it's going to go. But uh, I'll be back at you in one minute. But for now, this is Preacher Hambone climbing off his rocky pulpit on the last Sunday before the end times saying, uh, well, bye guys.